everyone and welcome back to Checkpoint. Yeah, it's your host again, Pastor Dr. Ifa Maeze, and I'm here again with another episode of Checkpoint. I'd like to start by saying thank you, thank you, and thank you again for all that you do for us here at Checkpoint because of your likes, your shares, your comments, and even subscribing to my YouTube channel. Our message is reaching a wider audience, and for this, I am so, so grateful. Now, today is another episode of Checkpoint, and I'm really excited to be in your face. Okay, so you know how we roll. Let's do this once again. Let's go ahead. Let's begin to like this video, all right? Begin to share this video, begin, begin to comment on this video, and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please go ahead and let everyone around you know that Checkpoint is on once again. All right, I'm really excited for the topic I'm about to share with you today, and I know it's going to be a huge blessing to you. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and begin to share the link, all right? Share the link, share the link, share the link, and share the link. Send uh, to everyone that you know, to your friends, your relations, your associates, and your neighbors. And most importantly, I'd like you to do it. Click on the notification bell so that you get new videos from us whenever we post a new video. I'm really excited to be in your front. And I know, and I know, and I know we're going to be having a swell time today. So I'll be right back after the break. Don't go anywhere. All right, and welcome back to Checkpoint. Now, today on Checkpoint, we have a very sizzling topic, something that will be a beautiful blessing to you. And today on Checkpoint, my topic is simple. It's simple. The topic for today is how to get your life back on track. How to get your life back on track. So um, that's the topic I'll be sharing with you today. It's possible that many of you had resolutions, you know, had dreams, had visions, had plans and goals, and then you started off, but somehow, somehow, you saw yourself derailed by the side. Maybe it could have been as a result of distraction. It could have been as a result of uh, pressure from one place or the other. It could just be as a result of issues of life, you know, is life we are talking about. And most times, everybody has one issue or the other. But whatever the case may be, I know there is a pathway you have projected from your, for yourself. I know there is a destination you have in mind. And um, what I'm just here to do today is to help point you back to that destination, that dream that you have always had. So today, I'm not talking to those who are clueless about what to do with their lives. I'm talking to those who know what they want to do with their lives, but somehow they are no longer on that path. Maybe you used to have dreams of when you become a chartered accountant. You used to have the dreams of when you become uh, a full-fledged barrister. You used to have dreams of when you would uh, reach your des destination or the place that you have always imagined you would do when you become certified in that thing that you are doing or when you, you, you would have graduated from school. And then somehow, somehow, you don't see yourself in that space yet. And you know that you really want to get back on track, but somehow, you feel disconnected from your dream and from your plans or from your vision. This video is for you. This episode is for you, all right? Because I know in my heart that somehow, somehow, this today's episode is going to position you back on that pathway to becoming who you want to be. And so this is why I have come today to share with you how to get your life back on track. So are you ready? Yes, that's all I want to hear. Yes, yes, yes. And if you are out there, you are following me on YouTube, please go ahead, drop in the comment section. Let me know what you are thinking, all right? Drop in the comment section right now. Let me know. Yes, 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 yes. I hear you. I hear you. I understand what you are saying. And I'm ready to get my life back on track because together we are going to do this. And I'm going to show you in very simple steps the things that you need to do in order to get your life back on track. Are you ready? All right, let's do this together. Okay, so number one thing you need to use, you need to do in order to get your life back on track is that you have to take responsibility. 
now we live in an era or in a world where people don't like to take responsibility you know you know you we find ways of blaming the other person blaming the next person blaming our parents blaming our siblings blaming our caregivers even blaming people who did stuff to us that they are the reasons why we are not being able to achieve the things that we really want to achieve in life but that shouldn't be the case all right so the first thing you have to do for yourself is to take responsibility take responsibility for your actions take responsibility for your decisions take responsibility for the areas in which you have had a misstep all right in the areas from which you have uh, disaligned yourself all right take responsibility it is possible that you used to be on track but somehow somehow you are no longer on track take responsibility own it all right on your mistake on what you have done and tell yourself this is not where i want to be this is not where i desire to be i should have moved on from this point but i'm still here on that responsibility because the truth of the matter is that you cannot move on from that point if you do not take responsibility for what has happened all right so take responsibility for your life take responsibility for your for the decisions you have made take responsibility for your actions and take responsibility for your inactions as well because you are where you are because of the things you have done or because of the things you have refused to do so take responsibility for all of that and take charge of your life all right you have the power to change your life you have the power to improve on your life you have the power to better your life and all of these things are in your hands and you can do it all right so go ahead and improve your life take that responsibility and that is the first step in you being able to get your life back on track are you ready all right so let's talk about number two number two um point that will help you to get your life back on track is what i call continuous learning all right so continue learning do you want to get your life back on track continue learning learning never stops all right it is commonly said that the 21st century illiterate is the one who refuses to learn on learn and relearn all right as a person who wants to get his or her life back on track you have to intentionally keep learning keep learning continue learning learn from everywhere learn from everyone don't be too high-minded that you cannot learn from people all right be that kind of person that can learn from just about anybody okay I am somebody who is we always willing to learn. I can learn from a child. I can learn from age, just about anybody because it doesn't matter um, who I meet. It doesn't matter where I go to. What matters is that at the end of the day, what do I know? Okay. And um, when I begin to display what I know, it's not written on my forehead. There's no way you get to know who taught me what I know. So in the long run, who taught you does not matter. What you know is eventually what matters. So continue learning. If you need to read books, read books consistently and continuously. If you can't read physical books for the sake of time or stress or the nature of your job, go for audio books. Listen to audio books. These things will change your life. They will better your life far more than movies would, far more than relaxing and just eating junk would. They will better your life. Read books, take courses. If you will go to school, learn a skill, learn. There are so many new skills to learn in this our present world. Go ahead and learn them. And these things will help you to achieve your goals. Make a decision to be a lifelong learner. I call myself and I regard myself as a lifelong learner because I learn continuously. I don't allow the things I know or do not know to limit me or keep me down. I am a lifelong learner. So you can equally decide to be a lifelong learner, which means that there is no end to learning. No matter how old you get, you will keep learning, all right? Be a lifelong learner. Keep learning and make sure that you grow every day because great leaders grow daily. Let's say that together. Great leaders grow daily. And how do they grow? The Bible says that a wise man heareth and increases strength. So which means if you learn, you are able to increase your capacity, you are able to increase your strength. And this is very, very essential for you to step into your next level. Let me tell you this. There is a version of you that cannot go to your next level until you upgrade. So 
you your future you is waiting for that version of you so that it can merge and you become the sinusha of all eyes so your generation is waiting for you the endless creation the bible says is waiting for the manifestation of the sons and the daughters of god god and his angels and believers and the world at large are waiting for you to manifest but how will you manifest emptily it is an error it is fraudulent to uh, manifest in, in an empty fashion and expect any form of reward so it's important that you continue learning learn from everything learn from everywhere all right well, let's talk about number three number three point on how you can get your life back on track you need to set clear goals all right it's possible that one of the reasons why you were not able to get your life back on track was because you were not able to set clear goals when you set clear goals when you are clear on your goals when there is that level of clarity for you you know exactly what you want you know how you want it you know with whom you will want to execute it you know who what you are doing is for by the time you begin to answer these questions your goals become clear you check if it is possible to even do this all right is it actualizable is it reasonable is there a time set for it is it is it tied to time is it time bound you know uh, is it specific is it measurable these are things that you have to check out all right is it, are these goals of mine are they even realistic in the first place these are key questions you need to ask yourself while you set your goals decide for yourself what is important now and what is not important at the moment no other person will do this for you this is something that you have to practically do for yourself ask yourself what must i do now what what must i do later and what must i never do all right this is something that will really help you to set clear goals so decide what you want to do in life what you want to achieve in life and then set clear goals for yourself when you do this it will keep your eye it will give you lesser focus all right it will keep you very focused it will it will keep you motivated because your eye is on the ball all right let's put our eyes on that ball i don't know what your own ball is i don't know what your 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 key mot motivation is i don't know what it is you are looking forward to but keep your eyes on that ball it's achievable all right it can be done who said it cannot be done if somebody anywhere in the world has done it before you are the next best person that should be able to do it so keep your eyes on the ball you can actually get it done but set clear goals you know some of the reasons why some of us are not able to achieve our goals is because that goal was not clear in the first place so your goal must be clear and it must be smart which means it has to be specific it has to be measurable it has to be attainable it has to be uh, realistic all right and then it has to be time bound so make sure that your goals are not just smart but also clear when you set this kind of very clear and smart goals you'll be surprised at how much you'll be able to achieve in life and listen to me when people say that it cannot be done show them that it can be done all right don't always listen to who said who said it cannot be done who is come no don't stop doing that if you keep seeking for validation from people they'll pull you down if you keep seeking for validation from people eventually you will not get anything done because when you're waiting for somebody to clap for you sometimes the people you're expected to clap for you are envious of the things that you are achieving they don't even believe that a man like you a woman like you with all that has happened to you is able to achieve the things that you have achieved so you have to wake up from your slumber encourage yourself and keep pushing and don't allow anybody or anything to pull you down because the top is meant for you so that you can eventually become the topic your generation wants to talk about all right so let's talk about number four all right so let's talk about number four Number four um, way through which you can put your life back on track, you can get your life back on track, is that you have to take action. <laughs> now, I've talked about taking responsibility. I've talked about continuous learning. I've talked about um, setting your clear goals. The next thing I want to talk about is you being able to take action. If we begin to do all of this um, mental assertion, and then we don't delve into the point of taking action. Nothing will ever be done. 
take action. Take action. I've told you once in one of my uh, previous episodes about um, a particular young man who just wants everything to be perfect before he steps out. Take action. Things will never be perfect. Let me tell you this. There are some of my videos I have done. I don't even like them. So while they may have quality content, while I may have said very important things that can actually change the life of a person, I may not have liked the way it looks. I may not have liked the, the editing and stuff like that. But listen to me. I still put that video out because I believe that whenever I prop myself up to be able to take that action, somebody somewhere is desperately in need to hear what I have to say in order to make the right decisions and choices in life and become a better version of themselves. So this is what propels me. This is what pushes me. And I keep taking action on a steady basis. In fact, in my personal life, I live with a sense of urgency. I live with a sense of urgency knowing that one video delayed can be the source of somebody else's downfall. All right? One video, one, one thing I don't do, one book I don't write. Somebody somewhere needs the content in my book, in my video, in my music, in my messages to become a better version of themselves. And why on earth will I deny somebody an opportunity to be better? At Checkpoint here, we believe in edifying, equipping, and empowering you with content that is able to make you a better version of yourself. And one thing I do on a consistent basis is to take action, especially when I'm tired, even when I am discouraged. So no matter how discouraged I am, no matter how tired I am, I show up. <laughs> so let me tell you this. So instead of sitting back there and giving excuses and saying how it's not done or how it cannot be done, wake up and take action. I like you, if you listen to this point, please go ahead, drop in the comment section, say take action, take action. This is a direct word from me to somebody, somebody who is listening to me today, somebody who is watching me today, take action. The action you are about to take can launch you into the realm of possibilities, into the realm of blessings. So wake up and take action. Stop slacking. Stop delaying. Wake up and take action. I know stuff has happened to you, but listen to me. Life is just about 10% of what has happened to you and 90% of how you handle it or how you react towards it. So wake up and take action. You must take action towards achieving the desires of your heart. You must take action towards getting your life back on track. No matter how discouraged you are, take little steps. Start from where you are. You may not have done much, but do something. And it's important that you do something. Don't keep making excuses. Excuses are the tools with which a lazy man uses to build his monument of nothing. So go ahead and take action. Don't be like the lazy man who uses excuses to build a monument of nothing. Go ahead and take action. If you need to take action in direction of your health, go ahead and take it. If you need to take action in the direction of your academies, go ahead and take it. If you need to take, direction, take action in the direction of your, of your mental health, go ahead and take it. Whatever it is that you know that will make you a better version of yourself, go ahead. I am rooting for you. And I know that as you take that action, no matter how small your steps are, you will eventually get to your right destination. All right? So please go up, wake up, stand up, and take action. All right? Okay, so let's talk about number five. All right, so number five, number five um, way through which you can get your life back on track is that you have to exercise self-discipline, all right? Exercise self-discipline. Many of us do a lot of talking. We can talk, all right? Talk is cheap. Many of us do a lot of brain um assertions, mental assertions, you know, we tell ourselves, oh, we're going to do it, oh, oh, but very few of us actually lack the self-discipline required in order to get our lives back on track. For every time you see a man successful, a woman successful, you would always no notice that behind the scenes, 
there was a lot of self-discipline that was exercised. Look at the athletes, for example. Before they come out for a particular competition that might just last maybe an hour or 30 minutes or even 15 minutes or sometimes even less than that, five minutes. You know, before they come out for that, they must have had days upon weeks, upon months of practice, all right? And they keep exercising self-discipline for that very moment. If there is something you really, really want to achieve in life, you know, you really want to get your life back on track, you know, you really have to exercise self-discipline because in exercising self-discipline, if one of the... Uh, from, former American president said, discipline is the soul of an army. I think it was Abraham Lincoln who said that, that discipline is the soul of an army. And when you remove discipline, and no other army exists. An army cannot exist without discipline. In fact, when you remove discipline from an army, they become a band of thoughts. All right? So it is discipline that makes them an army, actually. So it has to develop good habits. You have to develop good routines. You have to develop good procedures that help you to achieve your goals, that help you to get your life back on track. Because let me tell you this, don't forget this ever in your life. Every greatness you see has a system and a structure that creates it. Let me say this again. Every greatness you see, every manifestation you see, every groundbreaking record that you see, has what? A system and a structure that is manufacturing, that is creating it, that is sustaining it. So whenever you see somebody on the winning path on a regular basis, know that there is something this person has. There is a system, there is a structure that is present in this person's life that is ensuring that greatness is sustained, that is ensuring that winning is sustained, that is ensuring that being on track, all right, is sustained. So this is something you have to do for yourself on a very, very honest note. So make sure that self-discipline becomes that system. Self-discipline becomes that structure with which you are able to organize your manifestation, all right? So this is very, very key and so, so important if you must ascend your next height in life, if you must be able to uh, main get yourself or your life back on track because you you look at your life and it's no longer where you want it to be something has to be done all right something needs to be done and that is that needs to be done is for you to take action and then exercise self-discipline all right let's talk about number six number six um way through which you can get your life back on track is that you have to learn from failure learn from failure everyone fails at one certain time in their lives so failure is not alien to people who are very successful everyone who has been able to get their lives back on track failed at one point or the other all you have to tell yourself is this failure is just an event i am not the failure i may have failed at something but that does not make me a failure it made that business a failure it made that work a failure it made that exam a failure it made that engagement a failure, but it did not make me a failure. I am not the failure. So which means I can go back and try again and win. And then I become a winner. So please remember that learn, you have to learn from your failures, all right? Failure is always a part of the learning process. Failure is always a part of the learning process. Don't uh, begin to get depressed when you fail. Learn to stand up. From the point where you have failed and tell yourself i can do it i can make it again ask great people about the times they have failed in life in life they'll tell you that these were just learning opportunities so failure is usually learning opportunities let me tell you what failure is like failure is like a stepping stone to your greater heights in life so whenever you fail don't see it as one stone upon which you can step your feet and see higher and aim higher and get better so please learn from your failure learn from your failure don't treat your failure like an outcast all right when you have seen your failure embrace it not embracing it so that you can remain a failure no 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 i mean embrace it take responsibility all right accept it don't deny it don't live in denial 
accept it and then the next thing you have to do is to learn from it ask yourself what did i do wrong what did i not do right Where, what did i miss what was i supposed to be more observant and careful about and when you are able to figure this is out i assure you you won't be able to feel the same way you have failed before you'll be at this point we can say that you have been able to learn from your failure so learn from your failure and don't be ashamed of it own it all right own your failure when, we, when i talk about embracing i don't see, mean you should embrace and stay with you just own it accept it accept that this has happened to you i said that even though it is not okay it happened to you but what then can you learn from it what else can you do based on what has happened and this is a consistent question you have to ask yourself in order to make sure and ensure that you eventually get your life back on track i hope you have been following from the very beginning remember i told you that how to get your life back on track number one you have to take responsibility i said number two you have to continue learning i said number three you have to set clear goals for yourself i said number four you have to take action number five you have to exercise self-discipline and number six you have to learn from your failure all right use your failure to improve yourself don't lie down because you have failed in fact a wise man once said that it is not it is not your fault that life knocked you down but it is your fault if you remain on the ground so it is not your fault that things happen to you but it's your fault if you remain there you have issues don't bury yourself all right you have problems don't bury yourself you feel that something don't bury yourself rise up like a phoenix and become the shiny star that you were meant to be so try to learn from your failure any lesson you learn use that lesson to improve on yourself i said this before that a wise person or a stronger person is somebody who is able to pick up the stones with which he or she has been stoned and use it to build a monument so it's important you can pick up those stones and use them to build something wonderful out of that mess something beautiful can come out of your pain something beautiful can come out of your challenge something beautiful can come out of your sorrow all you have to do is to do what learn from it all right so let me tell you number seven number seven um way through which you can get your life back on track is that you have to practice gratitude you have to practice gratitude in fact i had this conversation with somebody um sometime last week because so one of my mentees who came around and wanted to hear what i had to say on certain the topics and then um I, I i went into a discussion with her and the discussion went like this and it's like whenever it's close to my birthday i begin to feel agitated i begin to feel unhappy i begin to feel like i'm no longer satisfied i begin to feel like something is wrong with me you know i'm not meeting my targets i'm not where i want to be i'm not uh who i want to be yet you know and i feel like I, my life is slow my life is lagging behind i'm not meeting up with what i want to do and she went on and on and on and i told her well this what is happening to you also used to happen to me but then i overcame it how did I overcome it? I shared with her how I was able to begin to write down the things that I am grateful for. So I, I started making a list of, that should have been around 2020, started making a list. And since then, I've been making list, list, and upon list upon list of things that I am truly, truly grateful for. And I discovered that a miracle happened. When I started counting the things that are working in my life, I became a very happy person. I became an excited person. I stopped complaining. I stopped mourning. I stopped groaning. I stopped being grumpy. I just told myself, well, girl, you rock, you know, you rock. You're living the life. You're doing well. And I'm sure that irrespective of whatever you think I may have achieved in my own life, if you can sit down, if you can sit down and write out the things that you are grateful for, I'm sure you will be so surprised at how far you have gone. If you're a young lady and you're depressed, please remember that there is somebody like you who is still struggling in life. There is somebody like you who does not have a vision yet. There is somebody like you who is even dead. There is somebody like you who is crippled or disabled. So please don't stop there. Don't allow things to keep you down. Get up from your slumber. Get up from your place of worry and shine like the shining light that you are. If you are married and you are complaining, well, your kids won't let you, your husband won't give you some space to become who you want to be and you're worried. Oh, remember there are some of your age mates who are not married yet. Remember there are some of your 
age mates who are married but they don't have children yet this is a blessing from god your life is blessed your life is an epitome of blessing so no matter what it is count the things that god has blessed you with you'll be surprised at how grateful you become once you realize that there are things that are really working in your life there are things that are really going well in your life you'll be so you become a grateful person so practice gratitude practice gratitude live a life of gratitude all right look inwardly assess yourself and be grateful for the things that you have working in your life you know that the devil is so tricky he would always keep our eyes glued onto the things that have not worked in our lives yet he will keep our eyes glued onto the things that are not okay in our lives yet but i assure you that with time all of these things will work themselves out everything is going to be fine eventually but you have to keep your eyes on the right point all right the bible made us understand that peter was walking on the water but the moment he began to look at the billows of the sea boy he began to sink and you will sink when you keep looking at the wrong things in life you will sink when you keep looking at the things that are now working in your life but when you keep your eyes on the prize on the beautiful things that have happened in your life the things that you are grateful for the things that you are thankful for you will be surprised at how fast your life will move forward and you know when you thank god your thank will always be full so practice gratitude gratitude will help you to focus on the positive things in life it will help you to appreciate the good things happening in your life so don't get fixated on the things that are not working because if only you can sit back and think if you, if you can think well you can thank well if you can think well you can thank god well so please sit back and think so that you can thank all right there are lots and lots of wonderful things happening in your life it's just that you're you have shut your eyes to it you are just focusing your eyes on the things that are working in other people's lives and you have neglected the one that is working in your life see you have come a long way how do i know that something has happened in your life think about it your prayer point of 10 years ago is no longer your prayer point now <laughs> That's how I know that you have progressed. That's how I know that things are better for you. Your prayer points of five years ago are no longer your prayer points now. Things have changed. You have new prayer points. You have advanced. You're not praying different things in prayer. That is how I know that you have been blessed. That is how I know that your life is no longer where it used to be. So arise from your pain, from your depression, and tell yourself, I'm going to make it. I'm going to get my life back on track, and it will be so for you. All right, let's talk about number eight. Number eight um, way through which you can get your life back on track is that you have to mind your association. Mm. Can we overemphasize this topic? No. We'll keep saying it and saying it and saying it and saying it. Mind your association. Your association determines your accomplishments in life. Your association determines your acceleration in life. Who you work with determines what works with you. Who you work with determines what works for you. Mind your association. Everybody should not be your friend. Love is a command. Friendship is not. It is God has commanded all of us to love everybody. So love everybody. Good and fine. But please do not be in friendship with everybody. Who is your friend? Your friend is the one who wants to see the best in you. Your friend is the one who is able to bring out the best in you. Your friend is the one who is rooting for you. Your friend is the one who will not deliberately lead you into evil or pain or hurt. Your friend is the one who will intentionally pray to God that God blesses you for him or her. That is who your friend is. So please, all this, I, this is my friend, that's my friend, that's my friend. It is not a must that everybody must be your friend. Watch your association. Even the Bible says that evil communication corrupts good manners. You may be a wonderful person, but by the time your association becomes corrupt, you are equally corrupt. If you have five friends around you and those five friends are foolish, don't tell me there are five foolish people. Please tell me there are six foolish people because you do not count well. You missed out on counting yourself. If there are five wise people around you, don't tell me there are just five wise people. Tell me there are six wise people because you missed out on counting yourself you are the sixth wise person. So your association is a prophecy of your future. Your association is the prophecy of who you will become. Show me your friend and I'll tell you where you will end. Show me your friend and I'll tell you who you will eventually become. Because your association 
matters. Your association will determine your acceleration. Who you company with determines what companies we feel. So please mind your association. In your quest to get your life back on track, you need to be mindful of the people that you call your friends. You need to intentionally and deliberately surround yourself with people who inspire you. Surround yourself with people who motivate you. I beg you, in the name of God, that you don't surround yourself with people who envy you. There is, there's so much evil in this world right now, you know. People are around you, but they envy you. They don't like your progress. In fact, they are asking, why should you be the one to be progressing? Why should you be the one to be getting better? Why should you be the one to be advancing? Why are you the ones that people are noticing? Why are you the ones that is being rewarded, you know? And then, when they ask such questions around you, you really need to be careful of such kind of friends. Find friends who truly inspire you. Friends who motivate you. Friends who believe in you, all right? Friends who are positive. There are people that can be so negative. Always complaining about what is wrong. Always looking at what is wrong. Always pessimistic. Mm -mm. You don't need such people in your life. Avoid the pessimistic friends. Avoid those friends who never see anything good in what's happening to you. So please, keep your eyes focused. I'll focus on the friends who will help you to keep your eyes on your goals. Focus on your friends who will help you to become a better version of yourself. In fact, blessed are you when you have friends who tell you the real truth. Blessed are you. That truth may be painful. That truth may be bitter. That truth may be uncomfortable. But blessed are you when you have friends who tell you the truth. Don't, have, don't run into association of people who don't tell you the real truth. Who, who, who uh, are, are, are psycho fans, you know. They just try to uh, 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 blow your, your trumpet when you're making mistakes. Those ones are really, really, really not your friends. So please stick with the right association. Stick with those who are genuinely your friends. And you'll be surprised at how far you would go in life. All right? So let's talk about number nine. Number nine points on how to get yourself back on track in life. All right. So number nine um, way to keep your life back on track is that you have to refuse to give up. Let me tell you the truth. There are so many, so many things in life that are trying to make you to give up. It could be friends, it could be family, it could be pressure, it could be society, it could be social media pressure. Boy, the list is endless. It could even be your health. There are so many reasons, so many things that are applying pressure on us, you know, trying to make us to give up. But I want to tell you, refuse to give up. No matter what, don't give up. I feel like I'm really talking to you right now. No matter what, don't give up. See, the pressure is real. The pressure is real. The, 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 the pressure to give up is real. But don't quit. Don't stop. Don't stop pushing. Don't quit applying pressure in your life and destiny. Every great leader has felt this pressure to quit. Every great champion has felt the pressure to give up. But then they refused to give up. They kept fighting. They kept pushing. They kept pressing in until they became who they wanted to be. Refused to give up. I feel like I'm pouring my heart to you because I remember many, many times I felt like giving up. But I said to myself, no, not now. A generation is waiting for my manifestation. No, not now. I can't give up. Because I remember the destinies that are tied to my destiny. I cannot give up. And I said to myself, no, I cannot give up. I want to tell you, listening to me right now. You cannot give up. There are people who will never go to school if you give up right now. There are people who will never be able to pay their house rent if you give up. There are people who will never become their true self, become all they were meant to be here on earth if you give, if you give up. If you give up, there are many destinies tied to your loins that when you give up, you drag every one of them down. There are people that are not meant to rise until you rise. There are people that are not meant to shine until you shine. And you cannot take that opportunity away from them. 
it is an error it is not okay it is not it is it is it is wrong for you to take that opportunity from them there are children who may never feed widows who may never feed their be able to feed their children if you give up there are people your life is meant to impact this is the why you cannot give up this is why you cannot give up so no matter how hard you try don't give up don't give up on your goals don't give up on your dream don't give up on your on your vision don't give up no matter how tough things get keep pushing keep pressing in keep a, a, a deploy perseverance perseverance is your ability to refuse to give up no matter how difficult things are there is something we call the adversity quotient and the adversity quotient of a person is your ability to go through rough patches in life without breaking apart we have to develop our adversity quotient you know we talk a lot about emotional quotient we talk a lot about our emotional quotient we talk a lot about our uh, intellectual quotient but we leave out on this aspect of adversity quotient life can be hard it was zig ziglar that said that tough times don't last but tough people do tough times don't last tough people do eventually this will pass away eventually this challenge will roll away eventually things will be better off again so don't give up now if you give up now you gave up too early what of the testimonies that we are, are going to be shared from your life? What of what of what of the prophecies that went ahead of you? Why would you want to give up now? I'm speaking to somebody who is even at the verge of taking their own life. You did not create that life. This life that you want to take away does not is not your own. This life has destinies attached to it. Don't die now. Don't kill yourself now. It's not going to be worth it. What of the countless people that are going to miss you, even though they act like you don't matter right now? What of the destinies that are going to be better because you lived? What of the impact that you are supposed to make? And then what of the story you are supposed to write? The story of how you overcame? This is why I'm never ashamed of my scars. Because my scars testify of how I have overcome. My scars are proof that I am a survivor. My scars are proof that I fought and I won. So I am not ashamed of my scars. Don't be ashamed of what you are going through now. I know it's hard. I know it's difficult. But never give up. This is not a time to give up. Stay persistent no matter the pressure. Keep walking towards your dream. Keep walking towards your, your vision. Keep walking towards what you believe in. Eventually it will all make sense. One day you wake up and you look back and you can't find those problems again. They are past, they are, in your, they, are, they are gone, they are in your past. And you tell yourself, well, I now understand why it had to be this tough because I was getting to a place so large. Sometimes when your testimony is so big, you have to pass through a pressure so much. So don't give up, no matter what. That pressure is always there. Every conqueror had that pressure. To give up before the fight finished. Every champion had that pressure to stop fighting because of the pain before the whistle was blown. But you know what they did? They kept pushing on. They kept pushing through. They kept fighting. They kept doing it until the whistle was blown and they were declared the winners. So you, wait till the whistle is blown. Wait till the whistle is blown. Don't give up now. Don't die too quick. Don't die because your heart, life is about to become sweet. Life is about to become glorious. Life is about to become wonderful. Don't die now. Don't give up now because your glorious future awaits you. And number 10 and the last uh, for today on how you can get your life back on track is that you have to take care of yourself. While I have shared every other thing on how you can take responsibility, on how you can exercise self-discipline, on how you can mind the association and, practice, and exercise gratitude and practice gratitude, with all of that, please make sure you take care of yourself. Setting goals is wonderful. Setting clear goals is powerful, but not more powerful than taking good care of yourself. I have come to that point in my life when I am now being more conscious about how I take care of myself. Because you know what? If I don't take care of myself, who will? Nobody will. I am the person whose first and foremost responsibility 
is to take care of myself. So you learn to take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Take care of your physical, mental, and emotional health. All right? Take good care of yourself. Don't allow anybody into your space that is making you uncomfortable. Don't allow anybody into your space that is trying to destroy your life. Don't allow anybody into your space that is making you angry, bitter, unforgiving, you know, very resentful and very, very aggressive. Please, don't allow people into your space in that manner. Don't allow people into your space who cause you physical pain on a regular basis. You are not a slave, all right? You are not, not a slave. The song says, I am no longer a slave because I am now a child of God. You are a child of God. And you are not a child of any other kind of person. You are the child of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. You are the child of the monarch of the universe. You know, when you remember who your God is, if when you remember who owns you, you will take better care of yourself. Take care of your emotional health. All right? Don't allow anybody to... to, to, to gaslight you don't allow anybody to use their narcissism tendencies on you develop your ability to take care of yourself when you begin to take care of yourself you will see that you are beginning to function at your very best you will see that you notice that you are beginning to achieve your goals better simply because you took care of yourself take care of yourself no other person will do this for you it's a decision you have to make as we go forward make sure understand that if in order to get your life back on track you honestly have to take good care of yourself, all right? Sit back, have some me time, have some quiet time. If you need to take yourself out for lunch, go ahead and do so. If you need to take yourself to the spa, go ahead and do so. If you need to go shopping for yourself to make yourself happy and excited, go ahead and do so. But by all means, take good care of yourself. Let me tell you the truth. The world is wicked. Everybody is somewhere there wishing you that wishing your downfall and you cannot afford to fall because they are there wishing you downfall even the devil if you open the chapter of the plans of the devil for you his plans for you are death plans for you are terrible plans for you are destruction but you have to tell yourself no i know the plans that god has for me plans to give me a glorious future a beautiful life and an expected end and what then do you do give yourself a beautiful life give yourself a glorious life Give yourself a wonderful life. Do anything that you can that is godly, that is nice, that is healthy, that will make you really happy. Take delight in making yourself happy. Love the sound of your laughter. Mm. I need to say this one again. Love the sound of your laughter, all right? The sound that you make when you laugh. Love it, all right? Enjoy making yourself laugh and take good care of yourself. These are the few ways eh, I tend to share with you today on how to get your life back on track i believe you were thoroughly blessed and i'm so sure in my heart that this will really be a guiding light for you to get your life back on track it doesn't matter what your personal vision is it doesn't matter what your personal goal in life is it, whatever it is just use these points that i've shared with you today to align yourself properly back on track take action take responsibility exercise self-discipline practice gratitude mind your associations and say good care of yourself. By the time you begin to do all of this, you'll be surprised at how well you're able to get your life back on track. So thank you so much for watching today. And if you join late, please do me a favor, go back to the beginning of the video and watch back to the end because you may have missed something that might be a serious blessing to you. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Go ahead to share the a link to your friends, your relations, your associates and your neighbors. I'm really grateful for all that you do for us here at Checkpoint. And until I come your way again, keep making a positive, indelible mark in the lives of people and on the sands of time. I love you so very much. Bye-bye for now.
everyone i hope you are blessed by that message all right so i want you to just go ahead and support us if you are led go ahead and just so into the account right on the screen and i know that as you do that god will bless you big time because of the seeds you are sowing will be able to reach a wider audience on different platforms so please do well to sow that seed and god will bless you love you